Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Carla, also known as Little Fit Devil, and today I am going to be building and reviewing another goat gun. You guys have seen me do a sniper goat gun. So today I have a 1911 miniature model. As you guys know, maybe you don't, so let me enlighten you. Goat guns are really cool. They are miniature models. They're really toy replicas of real guns. Um, today I have the 1911 in Tiffany blue. If you guys um, haven't seen it, there is a Kimber 1911 in the same color. And I have seen it at a gun show and I'm so upset that I didn't buy it, but I looked at it and I almost did. So when I saw that Goat Guns had this one, I said, you know what, I didn't get the real one, might as well get the replica. Um, so what is really neat about these guns is that they look like the real version. It's very realistic. You know, it does have all the elements of a real gun, but it's a non-firing weapon. So it makes for a great desk accessory, for a great gift. You know, I love building them. Um, as you guys know, I'm kind of like a Lego fan. That's what I do with my son. So building a toy gun is just as fun to me. So I'm going to go ahead, switch the camera view a little bit so that you know, you can see me building it. It should take roughly five to 10 minutes. We'll see, I'm incredibly clumsy. So let's get started. So here it is, that's the package. Oh, gold gun sticker. Oh, here's the 1911. I'm sure these are the instructions. Okay, I'm gonna be reading these. What else do we have here? Thanks for your order. Okay, so let's get started, all right? So I'm just gonna kind of get out of the camera so you guys can just watch me struggle through this or not. Maybe it is kind of like made for dummies, you know? It shouldn't be that hard. These are just staples, so no knife needed. All right. Okay, so here is the stand. I assume that's where the gun goes. There's a little screwdriver. We have some very small screws, I believe here, or maybe it is a part of the gun. I feel like that's like for the ladder portion, so I'll leave it. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. That is really nice. And I think this actually works as if it does fire. That's kind of neat, okay. Here's the mag. The mag has actually three rounds. So I'm gonna try to place them. <laughs> oh my God, you guys need to see this. Look at the size of this round. Can you see it? It's tiny. Okay, let's see if I can actually insert them in the mag. Between the nails. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That worked. Okay, two more to go. I think, we get, I, think I got this, you guys. You know. Okay, there we go. Second one in. Perfect. This one is easier than most magazines, you guys. <laughs> okay, we got it. There you go. That's the mag. Um, I feel like I'm not following the instructions, you guys, but let's start. Let's start following the instructions. Okay, so we have to insert the pin into the spring. Okay, okay, okay. Although it's, it seems to me like it's already inserted. Did it just fly off? Where'd it go, you guys? Here it is, pin and spring. So I guess this goes together, perfect. Okay, then we push firmly into the bottom of the slide. Nice. Now we're going to combine this with this slide. All right. <laughs> I'm trying for the spring not to fall off, you guys. So bear with me. Okay, there we go. Nice. 
hey, I did it. Oh, that's amazing. Actually, Rex. That's pretty cool. Okay, then now what? Number three, drop the slide lock. That's what that was, the slide lock. Okay. That looks good, I think. Now we're gonna put the mag. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, hold on. We do have the stand too. I mean, I've got a feeling that this is like how this is supposed to go. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Check it out. <laughs> we did it. Um, I don't know how long that took. I'm sure over the allotted time, just based on clumsiness. This is really cool. I think this is really neat. And then you can get it out of the stand. You have your little 1911 Tiffany. Okay guys, there's a lot of different models to build. I will put go ahead and put the um, card so that you can watch the video of me building the sniper rifle. Um, there's a lot of different styles you can choose from. My next one is gonna be an AK-47. I know it, I call it. Um, and super easy, honestly. This one was just like five steps. I know the rifle was a little um, larger, but this one was great. So if you guys wanna check them out, I will put the links here in the description. Remember, you can also follow me on Instagram. I have a Patreon account and a Teespring store. So if you wanna check it out, please do so. I also do a lot of knife reviews and creative concealed carry ideas. So go ahead and subscribe. I, I think that does it. I will see you guys soon in another knife review or creative concealed carry idea. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye. I'm gonna take my coat down with me.